Thank you, Dr. Pinkett, for coming to see me. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah, it's been great talking to you. I look forward to uh, talking more in the future. I'd like that. That's the evolution of the brain. It's the only organ in the body where you can see the layering of time. The good powers like play, if used correctly, percolate into learning, into thoughts, creative thoughts. Science is there to keep us honest. Science of play didn't exist because people thought you could not bring it into the laboratory. It was too idiosyncratic. And then 20 years later, I wake up one morning and I say, is that laughter? Mother Nature gave us a play system. It's just anxiety. Deep and primitive, play allows you to get into trouble. The most trouble you ever have as a social creature is not being sensitive to another one of your kind. So in play, you don't have to learn what you can do to others and what you will allow others to do to you. There's the leader and I'm a follower. The emotional systems actually appear to, you know, be an integral part of the organism. Because you can take away your eyes, you can take away your tools, and you're still there as a creature. You take away the emotional systems and the whole package collapses. Mm -hmm. So one could say that emotions are the biological soul, the core self. The organism is built around its emotional coordinates because they are very general life supporting systems. I need you mom. You are the one. The bond. From understanding the circuitry in animals to treating depression, other psychiatric disorders, and our everyday joys and woes. The contribution of affective neuroscience is to put the ball in the court of the other guys. We have given the data, we've interpreted the data, and now it's for the other side to show that there's a better interpretation. That's the way science works.